Yo, what is going on, guys? And welcome today to my Manchester United FIFA 18. Either predictions, upgrades, downgrades, whatever you want to call it. It's just like a prediction video, basically. So, first of all, just before we actually get into anything, I just want to apologise for the lack of uploads over the past couple of weeks. I've been working a bit more, and FIFA 17 is so dead. Ugh, just, FIFA 18, just please come around already. It's like well over a month away. We, I, I, I just can't wait, to be honest. I reckon there's going to be another controversial one again, to be honest. Just looking at stats and ratings and things like that. Not everyone's going to be happy, but hey-ho. Can you please everyone? Nope. So, as you can see, first of all, we are looking at the goalkeeper. So, David De Gea and Sergio Romero. Now, as you can see, I put De Gea as a 92 rated. Now, what the reason I've done that is the gap of quality between Neuer and De Gea. Shouldn't be that much. They're the two best goalkeepers in the world. Obviously, that's my opinion. If you have your own opinions, let me know in the comment section and things like that. But I think they, them two goalkeepers should be on the same level. De Gea being an absolutely insane goalkeeper. Why shouldn't he be available to be at 92 rated exactly the same as what Manuel Neuer should be? To the right of him, though, I've got Sergio Romero. He's an absolute bit... Wait, he's to the right for me, but he's to the left of you. I, I don't know. But Sergio Romero, he had a very solid season. He was massively important in us getting the Europa League, getting back into the Champions league this year which is absolutely insane i can't wait for champions league football back at old traffic you know hopefully gonna try and get some games next year which i'll try and vlog for you guys as well however romero he deserves a little bit of an upgrade i don't think ea have given him credit for how good he actually is like in most games in the europa league he saved us multiple times romero is a bit of a beast but goalkeepers wise you can't really talk about him too much there's not really a lot to talk about but i reckon De Gea should get an upgrade and romero should as well up Mainly De Gea's upgrade just to match him up with Neuer because I don't think there really is a massive gap between them. And two ratings on FIFA 17. Is that right? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Moving swiftly on to defenders, boys. There is way too many people to even talk about on here. I've missed a couple of players out, but these are sort of the players that I believe are going to be really, really important this year. And obviously decent on FIFA 18 as well. You got the likes of Bailly, Smalling, Shaw, and eh, Valencia to a certain extent, who were rather OP in FIFA 17. Are we going to see that again? You never know. It's something that could happen. If it does, I'm not going to complain because Man United players being OP. I don't mind. But we'll start off here with Antonio Valencia. Now, he had a very, very solid season. He got, I think he had an 80-rated card that got upgraded to an 82-rated card. Now, Valencia's definitely up there with the best fullbacks in the league, as in like Kyle Walker. Uh, you could say Klein's up there to a certain extent and Hector Bellerin, players like that. And Valencia had a very, very solid season where you could say he was one of the best in the league and obviously going to the team in season card. Him and Walker got one. So is he in line for an upgrade? I think he could be, to be honest with you. Solid guard. I want to see his pace bigger though. Pace and his physical. Like The guy's an absolute machine. But just underneath him, if I can point at him properly, you've got down there, Eric Bailly. Honestly, if you think Eric Bailly isn't a good defender, then do you even know football? This guy is absolutely insane. Yes, he's not the best at passing or dribbling or whatever, but defensively and how rapid the guy is, he deserves an upgrade. He's been an absolute monster last year. If he doesn't get one, I'm going to be really, really disappointed. He was one of our best players last year and well within his rights to get an upgrade. Would he get an 85? Probably not. He might get an 80. 3 or 84, but 85, I'd like to see that. But just the right-hand side, uh, one of the probably a very, very controversial one within Man United fans and every other fan that will watch this video, but Luke Shaw, it's a bit of a tough one because he's a very, 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 very good young player. But injuries are setting it back. Apparently, something to do with his attitude. Mourinho didn't really like last year as well. It hasn't really been the best couple of years for Luke Shaw. Now, hopefully this season, he'll push on and actually be the left-back that... We all know how good he can be and how good he could be if he put the right attitude in, if he did have a problem with that, and obviously if he stays injury-free. Luke Shaw, I have given him a downgrade this year. Now, I have given him a downgrade for this FIFA simply because of injuries and things like that. He hasn't really played that much, so you don't downgrade him too much, but he's still a class player. Hopefully, he can get back to where he is this season and play well again. Now, to the bottom right or bottom left, oh, I've got no idea. But you got our brand new signing, Victor Lindelof, who, yeah, he, he had a very, very solid season for Benfica. So, I'll just, I think EA will just give him a bumper. And whenever you move to a big club like Man United or, or Chelsea or things like that, they always give you a little bit of an upgrade. Now, Lindelof, from what I've seen of preseason, I've seen him play against Man City, Barcelona, Real Madrid, and Real Salt Lake and LA Galaxy, I think it is. And he's played solid in all of the games that I've seen him play so far. Yes, so he had a couple of defensive mistakes in the first game, but ha, preseason, what can you do about it? But he's been really solid so far. He's quite good on the ball, actually, and he's quite far, solid, fast. I reckon he's going to be a good signing. We'll have to wait and see how actually decent he is when the Premier League kicks off, which is so soon. I cannot wait. 
Now, as you can see, the three just below me here, you've got Rojo, Fosu, Mensa, and Smalling. Now, Smalling, I'll give him a downgrade. He was absolutely... I, I, you wouldn't say absolutely awful, but he wasn't really the best last year, was he? Let's be honest with you. Everybody hating him because of how overpowered he was on FIFA. Hopefully next FIFA he's not as overpowered because he's not realistically that good in real life. But Smalling, I do love the guy. If he can get back to the form he was in Van Howes last year, I ain't going to argue. Smalling's a very, very good centre-back when he wants to be. Last year wasn't the best. Hopefully he can push on. Moving on to Marcus Rojo. Now, at the start of the season, if you know me quite per like, quite well, you know I didn't really like Marcus Rojo. I, I, I've downgraded his passing because he still can't pass the ball to save his life but when he played at center back um when we had quite a few injuries last year he was solid like i'm gonna be honest yes he deserved to get about 10 red cards every two games or something but in most positions he was solid rojo i'm proud of you bro you've you, you made me like you now i wasn't that impressed when you first came or in the uh, in Mourinho's sort of first part of the season but Second half of the season before you got injured, like every, like Ibrahimovic and players like that. But probably the biggest upgrade that I'm going to give today is the boy just down below me, Timmy Foster Mensa. Now, Mourinho played him a few times in the Prem uh, and in a few of the cup competitions as well last year, and he's played him quite a lot in preseason already. Uh, and Foster Mensa has been absolutely insane. He's strong. He's fast. He's, he's sick. He can literally play anywhere. He can play across defence, midfield, and he was playing right wing for some of the parts in the preseason games. So. What position to give him? I, I have literally have no idea. I'll give it him right back here because that's what he's played in preseason. But Fosu Mensa, I think that's time for him to jump at the silver level to the uh, to gold level. And can that be a good card? Maybe a cheap overpowered card for the start of next FIFA? Who knows? Could be decent. So that's overall defenders. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section or on Twitter or something like that. But that's what I've decided to go with. Obviously, the ratings aren't going to be exactly what I've put them as here. But if you think I've done one completely wrong or I've left someone too low or if I put Baye too high, that sort of thing, let me know your thoughts in the comments. But let's move on to the midfield. So, yeah, again, there's a whole ton of players to be talking about here. So, let's talk about these two first. Our two beautiful little Spaniards in the team, Ander Herrera and Juan Mata. Both... I'd, arguably, it deserve upgrades. Matter, eh, bit of a tough one. But Ander Herrera, 100%, 100 million percent deserves to get that upgrade. He was insane last year. He's one of the players that we have that's definitely pushed on under Mourinho. It's helped him massively since uh, Mourinho came in for Herrera. Will he get an 85 rated? Uh, I mean, he got an 82 to upgrade his to an 83 on FIFA 17, I believe. But... Is he up there with some of the top midfielders in the league? I'd say so. Just if you're just basing it off one performance, how he completely took Hazard out of the game, you could just put that on one of them as well. Like he, he's such a good card, and if that is a card that you can use with it, similar sort of stats to what we've given him there, then that's going to be a fairly decent card to use next FIFA. But little Juan, he, he, he's always good. Matter why he got downgraded from an 86 to an 84, I think it was last year. That baffles me because he didn't deserve the downgrade at all. Mata's still a very, very good player. His passing stat on this game was just stupid. I don't understand why he doesn't have insane passing because Mata is awesome. But if you just get a little bit of an upgrade, I'll be relatively happy with that. But let me know your thoughts in the comments, Man United, and especially Chelsea fans. Do you still love Mata? Now, Henry Mkhitaryan, probably one of our best players that there was last year. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. I've, I've given him an upgrade on the next FIFA. If he does get one, it would not surprise me at all. He was insane in the Europa League. Of course, in the first part of the season, he didn't really get played. He was trying to get to fitness. I think he had an injury when he first came to us. So he was sort of getting used to life in Manchester, I suppose. But... Henry Mkhitaryan, you guys know how sick he is, and in most games that he played or started, he made a massive difference. Look at the, some of the goals he scored like against Tottenham, his scorpion kick as well, which is our goal of the year. Absolutely insane player, and does he deserve an upgrade? In my opinion, I think he does. Now, the three just below me, yet again, I think I've upgraded, I think I've upgraded just Lingard on this one here. So, Martial and Fellaini, same rating, so they were okay last year, they didn't really do a massive amount. Just the normal, to be honest with you. They, I just mainly updated their cards, so they have a nice little player picture on there. But overall, Fellaini and Martial, they're always solid. They do the job. Hopefully, Martial has a bigger season this year, being one of the most overpowered cards that there were in the game last year. If we could have him overpowered again, I'm not going to say no, because I loved, him. I just absolutely loved using Martial's card last year. Hopefully, he pushes on this year, though, to get himself a bigger upgrade for FIFA 19. But other than Fosu Mensa, Lingard's definitely one of those that I've upgraded uh, quite a little bit, to be honest with you. Last year, under Mourinho, he, he, he just found a new lease of life. He was decent under Van Hal, 
but he almost became a regular starter for Mourinho. That's why I've given him quite a bit of a decent upgrade. His pace was nowhere near where it should be. Some of the stats that EA give players, I, I don't think they even watch these certain players play. Lingard's rapid. Like, it's just ridiculous. How are you not giving Lingard at least 86 to 88 pace? Even 90, because he's, he's as rapid as Rashford. But overall, I love Lingard. He's a decent little player. And I, I, I do think he deserves a bit of an upgrade. The same as loads of players in the EPL deserve an upgrade, man. EA, please give us some better rated cards. And of course, moving on to my favourite player in the team. you got Agent P over here, my boy. Yet again, I think he's going to be an 88 rated card. Did he do enough to get upgraded? Probably not. Does he, uh, does he deserve a downgrade? No way. Although that's probably going to cause a lit up, well, a lot of controversy. Because I was like, oh yeah, 90 million. You paid way too much and he did nothing. Well, I've watched him week in, week out. Paul Pogba has been absolutely sound. He's, he's provided so many assists, chances created, and his solidarity in our midfield with Ander Herrera. Did he have a successful season, in my opinion, who watches him week in, week out? Yes. Let me know your opinions on Pogba in the comment section. Yes, he could have scored a few more goals, but I swear he hit the, the um, woodwork six or seven times last year. So, am I that bothered about it? No. Is he going to push on this year? 100%. It's his second year. He's settled back in now. Pogba is going to have an insane season. But moving on to the final two or three players is there. I'm not too sure. But you got Rommel in the car who are brand new. I suppose, is he 75 million or 90 million? I mean, some places are quoting 75, some places are quoting 90 million. I, I honestly have no idea. But Lukaku, from what I've seen in preseason so far, and obviously watching him in the Premier League games last year and a few years before that, even back to when he was at West Brom, he's an absolute monster, isn't he? He's going to have a sixth season. He, I've given him an upgrade because, of course, he, he almost finished gold of boot. If Harry Kane didn't just turn into the GOAT at the end of last season, he would have got the gold of boot. But... Lukaku, giving him a bit of an upgrade, the same as Rashford. We both know... Oh, what, we both? Yeah, there's only me and one other person watching this video, isn't there, Dan? No, me and whoever else is watching this video will all agree that both of them do deserve an upgrade. Rashford had a solid season yet again and does deserve a higher rated card than 77, for crying out loud. If you're bloody getting Raheem Sterling at 82, how is Rashford not at least 82? Some of you guys might say I'm a little biased, but... Mm, don't, I don't really care, to be honest with you. I, I just think... I want high rated Man United cards to use on FIFA 18, to be honest. So, yeah, kill me. But overall, this these two will be our attackers next year. Lukaku, you just you just know how good Romelu is. And Rashford, yet again, I think he deserves a bit of a pace upgrade. Like, last year, he like, some of the stuff that he did, uh, the one that I remember most was actually against Otamendi in the Manchester derby, where he flicked it round him and Rashford was gone. Otamendi's just like, wait. I'm not catching up to that, no. Like, Rashford is so quick, and I reckon he deserves a little bit of a pace upgrade. His dribbling's actually fairly decent as well, and obviously shooting just a little bit of an upgrade. But overall, that's our attackers. I think they're going to have another solid season, but of course, this video is all about your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Have I rated Lukaku too low? Is Rashford too low or too high? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. But there's one less player that I do want to show you guys today, and hopefully when it comes to January... He'll actually become a Man United player. And of course, it is the boy Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Now, I just love Zlatan, man. And the fact that ever since he was playing in Milan, PSG, Barcelona, I've always loved Zlatan. And the fact that we had him at our club for even if it be the year, I'm more than happy with the year. But if we do, man, if he does manage to get himself back to fitness from all the rumours, from what Mourinho said, from Zlatan's like, Instagram um, pictures and things like that, it signals to us that if he gets fit again, we might offer him another contract, and if that is the case, I am going to be so freaking happy. I love Zlatan. Imagine the strike force of Lukaku, Zlatan, and Rashford next year, if that is a thing, like, second half of the season. Dudes, it's going to be insane. But if Zlatan does come back into the game, I do think he's going to get a 90 rate card on FIFA. Yes, they'll drop his pace again, because EA are just racist when it comes to people's pace. Uh-huh. I, I, I see you, EA, dropping old people's pace, you oldest people. But he'll get a shooting upgrade, a little bit of a physical upgrade, and dribbling. He's just a beast, and he's that, to be fair. But then again, if he does come back into the game, whether it be as a Man United player, or if he does sort of not go anywhere and maybe becomes an icon, that could be pretty lit. I, I mean, I would not mind that at all. But if Zlatan comes back into it, I'm going to be more than happy, man. I just love Zlatan so freaking much. But there you guys have it. That is my Man United sort of potential FIFA 18 upgrades, downgrades, talking about them and things like that. If there is any of the teams that you would like to see me do, make sure to let me know in the comment section. Or if you don't have a YouTube account, make one. 
click the notification buttons and let me know in that comment section down below. But if you guys did enjoy, smash that like button. Make sure to drop me a comment or let me know on Twitter what other teams you'd like me to look at, upgrades, downgrades, or just have a look at some potential cards for next year. Please, I really do want to know what your guys' thoughts are. So then, boys, smash a like if you think I've got any of those cards correct. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Yet yeah, again, I am sorry for not uploading so frequently over the past couple of weeks. But hopefully I'm going to be uploading a little bit more because I want to try and get some more FIFA 18 ideas on the go because I'm really looking forward to the game. So until the next one, boys, I'll catch you next time.